Italian power metal? Well, we have Alterium. They released a new album. Well, it's the debut album, and we're gonna review it. It's time for an album review, and now we have Alterium, real cool power metal from Italy. It's the debut album, this one, of War and Flames. And it's been a long time since we heard from them the first time. We have to go back one year when the singer Nicoletta Rossellini announced that Calidia will disband. The official uh, pages of Calidia, the band is no more, so we disbanded. Uh, during October last year. That was the bad news, but the good news? Well, she put together a new band, Alterium. Uh, from Calidia, she got the drummer, Dario Gazzi, and the guitar player, Paolo Compatelli. So you can hear that in this album, it's uh, still very much Calidia. So if you like that, well, you're gonna love Alterium for sure. The album, it's uh, very special. Uh, first, I want to tell you that it's a 10-track album, and they have, uh, well, before the album got released, we already heard six songs from the album because they have released six videos. It's very, it's many videos before uh, album release, and that leaves us with four more songs, or four new songs that many people will say. The songs they have made video, well, that's uh, the title track. <laughs> War of Flames, but the first one was Drag Me to Hell and also made a, a cool uh, a reaction video on that. You can uh, watch the cover here and you can see in the link in the description. Very good one. And they also have a Crystallize, uh, the ballad on the album, and also a very special, very cool, one, a very different song that's a crossroad in. And we also have to mention the cover Bismarck from Sabaton. Drag Me to Hell opened the album, and it's very good and very wow, put a standard on the album. And that was the first uh, video they released from the album, too. So, really set the standard very hard. Will they do uh, the rest of the songs? Will be the same pace? Will it be still hard? Will it be still heavy or melodic? And they really got the answer in the second video in the Siren's Call. Siren's Call! The track number three of War of Flames, a little bit different from the others, even more into the style of the video, was uh, more into the, I don't want to say the Marian theme with Kalidia, but it's, uh, the, the clothes she used there is a little bit more on the gothic side, on the medieval. And that's bringing me to Crossroads into on this, uh, uh, on this album. That's the song that's really stands out from the album. That's more like a medieval song. Uh, the video contained that they sing in a tavern. Track number four is Firebringer, and it's a very good one, and it's very fast, too, very typical uh, power metal, and also very good Alterium song. So if you like Drag Me to Hell and The Siren's Call, this one is also a very good one. It's a start to be one of my favorites on this album now, after I've listened to it many times. It's a very clean song, it's a very direct, so I really, really like the speed also in this song. It reminds me about some modern power metal and also the old uh, style of Kalida. Track number six is a Shadow Song, that's a new one. <laughs> well, all the songs are new, but we haven't heard before the album get released, if you understand what I mean. And that's also a very typical uh, melodic power metal song, straightforward, very cool, and very easy to catch up. Track number seven is the Crystallize, and that's the ballad on the album. It's the only ballad they have on the album, and it's a very beautiful song too. They make a lyric video of it. And it's really catch me, and it's uh, since many of the songs in the beginning of the album is really high paced, very fast tempo, typical power metal, and this one is uh, tuned down a little bit, so you get a little what I can say a little bit break from the <laughs> the other songs. So it's very fit, very good into the album. I really like that when they, how they put these songs together. And that brings us to the next cut, that is Heroin of the Sea. This brings me really back to the, what I think, what I thought Alter would be in the beginning, some uh, 
piracy and the medieval and everything together and to talk about the marine we remember good about the less mariner and everything from Kalida time Kalida was much about piracy and the medieval themes and everything about that so i got a little touch of that and that's i just want to take a little bre break about that because uh, when you see on the shirt Kalidia, I see the red theme and uh, usually when we think about the two first album from them there was more the blue and the piracy so they changed into Alterium and turned into be more fire and flames we like that right <laughs> you can also see that on the cover because I want to talk a little bit about the cover too before we move on to the, the other songs you can see they are, I really like this cover it's very majestic very powerful very eye catchy with the details I think it's Nicolette that you see her standing in the in the church in the front of the altar and it has a fire round uh, on the carpet and on the torches around in the church here. And you can also see that on the cover when you drag me to hell that this is much fire. Let's go back to the t-shirt I have. You can see it's more red in the theme. And I got that when I saw Kalidia live where I <laughs> got the t-shirt from. And I was a little bit surprised to see the sword here and see the fire. The sword is alright, it's a medieval and a, oh, good <laughs> ancient warriors. But it was more red, so I think, okay, they go different outside here. And then I talked a little uh, Nicoletta and she told me that there were, will be some flames into the into the Altarian band. So, so I they started to think about this already in the Kalida times before they disband the band. <laughs> I can see that now that they put the flames from the end of the area of Kalida into Altarium. Very cool thing. So I really like the cover artwork here and everything is very good. The track number nine, Chasing the Sun, it's a very good one. Uh, it's uh, also some kind of a new song if I'm allowed to say that because I haven't released that one on any videos. And it's also a good one and it's the last original song on the album because the last track, number 10, is a Bismarck, is a cover version from the Sabaton song. I, I have no idea, I tried to find out why they made a, a cover version of Bismarck song. There are so many songs and this one is about the well, warships and everything and And Alterium, for me, like when I see the song, when I read the lyrics and everything about the cover, it doesn't remind me about the modern times, it's more like the ancient times. So I really want to find out why they did this cover. So if you know anything about that, please leave a comment down below and tell me why they choose exactly this song. But it's a good song, so don't make me wrong. But I, when I hear a cover song, I want to hear something different. I don't want to compare with the original. But here is a very big difference because uh, uh, in Sabaton you have Joachim sing and here we have Nicoletta sing and that's the male and the female voices make all the total of the song very different and uh, Alterium also do a little different twist on the music here you, her, you can hear it's Bismarck of course but they make their own touch on it and at the same time Nicoletta sings so it's make it really special so the conclusion about this album well I give it a thumb up for the cover artwork I give it a thumb up for the <laughs> album and everything good song well produced good sound compact everything is very very good to be a DB album, but the members are not exactly new <laughs> new musicians. They've been around for many, many years. So that's why this also is a very good uh, good album, because it's a good product. They know how to make the music. So I'm really excited about Alterium. I really want to follow them in the future. And if you want to see some Alterium reaction, you can uh, check this out. It's uh, very good for you. And also this one may be very good for you. So thank you very much for watching my show. I'm Leonite React, you've been great and I hope to see you soon. Rock up!